began at the Cleveland Institute of Art in uh, August of 1986. We are essentially uh, a film, the film program of the Cleveland Institute of Art. We show specialized movies here every weekend, every Thursday through Sunday night. Uh, and we've been doing it since August of 86. The Cinematheque actually started uh, earlier than that. Uh, I and a couple friends or colleagues just banded together and decided that there were a lot of movies that didn't play Cleveland, movies which we wanted to see. Uh, so we founded this nonprofit corporation called the Cleveland Cinematheque. And uh, we started showing movies at Case West Reserve University on nights when the Film Society wasn't showing movies. And we started getting a lot of publicity. Our movies were, were reviewed by the Plain Dealer and so forth. And then I approached the Institute of Art about uh, essentially absorbing us, you know, taking us over, letting us show movies here uh, in this auditorium every weekend. And they liked the idea, so uh, they just took us in. And we've been here ever since. I think we really have one of the, you know, the brightest, sharpest pictures in Cleveland. Uh, we're we're getting stereo, which should be uh, should be installed in the next, you know, few months. Well, we show all different kinds of things. We're the people who have heard of us know that we are think of us as an art cinema. Uh, we are an art cinema, but all that means to me is that we show good movies. Uh, we show good movies that would appeal to everybody. Now, everybody is not going to be interested in everything we show. But uh, for instance, we show a lot of foreign language films, many in their Cleveland premieres. We show films which travel around the country in uh, touring film exhibitions, which in many cases come no place else between New York and Chicago. So we're really kind of a, a community asset. We bring in filmmakers on a year-round basis. Uh, we do, well, really, it's hard to pinpoint it. We, you name it, we'll do it. We do classic films. We're like one of the few places in town that still shows classic films, you know, in 35 millimeter on the, on the big screen. And, uh, and we also go out of our way to try to show, to show these films in new prints, you know, new 35 millimeter prints. Since we've been here, we've shown well over a thousand movies. Uh, we show at least 200 a year. In the first few years, we showed over 250 a year, a year. So we show more movies than any other theater in Cleveland, I mean, bar none. We do at least 200 different movies a year. That's not shows, that's actually different movies, feature films. I think it's always preferable to see a film on film in a theater than on video. A video is certainly a, a great convenience and has allowed people to catch a lot of movies they would have missed. But we're performing a real service because people can not only see films properly, they can, in many cases, just see the films, period, because a lot of what we show is not available on video or might be available on video in Europe or Africa or you know, wherever those films come from. But uh, we show a lot of stuff. The stuff we show, is, if it's on video, is generally hard to find. And, uh, and in many cases is not on video. I think every theater competes with other theaters because there's only a limited amount of like entertainment money out there, you know, in, in people's budgets. And there's a limited audience, certainly. I mean, there's, there are only so many people who are gonna see a movie. But I don't think anybody does what we do. I mean, there are, there are other art theaters in town. There's a film festival once a year, but Nobody shows the kind of films we do on a year-round basis. We're not in this to become millionaires or make money. We're a nonprofit theater. Fortunately, we draw enough people to keep us, you know, around weekend after weekend. We're not. None of us are becoming millionaires, but uh, but there are. Cleveland is a good city for this kind of film, and and there are enough uh, like special constituencies, you know, uh, special interest groups or people interested in at least enough of the films that we're showing to keep us to keep us in business. So it's really been the response in the four and a half years we've been here has been uh, very gratifying and I, and I think surprising to many people, especially some people at the Institute who, who I think doubted us at first and thought that there wouldn't be an audience. 
for these films, but there is. Our publicity is done mostly through our quarterly calendars. I'm sorry, it, they used to be quarterly. Now they come out every two months. They look like this. Uh, and we mail these free to anybody who calls us and asks for one. But uh, they give you short paragraph descriptions of all the films and uh, you know a lot of photos and so forth. I, I think there's enough there to, to tantalize people. Uh, but this is really what, what does most of the, of the work as far as publicizing our movies. And there's a lot of word of mouth. I mean, we're not out there in the forefront like urging, you know, imploring people to like spend their money at our place. We're, we take a more low-key approach. You know, we're there if you're interested. We promise, you know, interesting quality films. And, uh, and I think a lot of people, you know, respond to that. You know, we're not up there grabbing people by the lapel saying, you've got to see this movie, it's the greatest film. I mean, we'll, we certainly say that when they come here. But, uh, but we're not on the, out on the street, you know, like buttonholing people and trying to get them to come. But. We have a large auditorium. It seats 600 people, which is really very large by today's standards. We've had, uh, well, we've done very well with Japanese animation. You know, we, we had a virtual sellout for one of those films, which is really the only time we've ever sold out. I mean, we're talking about a complete sellout. And we didn't quite have it, but we came very, very close. But, uh, but I really think we have, we offer something for everyone. and. Um, you know, our films appeal to different audiences also. That's, that's something that should be stressed. You know, we get, we get all different kinds of people. And, uh, and that's the way I like it. We're, we show something for every minority group in Cleveland, you know, and, uh, and, and we're, we're committed to doing that. You know, I think there's, there are a lot of specialized films out there, and there should be a place that shows those, I think. And we are that place in Cleveland.